welcome to a live story time with Miss Ferreira and our friend Eddie the Elephant. And like we said in our last story, our gnome and Eddie thought it'd be a good idea to read by our Christmas tree. So we have another Christmas story. Let's get our wiggles out so we can concentrate. One, two, three. I wiggle my fingers and I wiggle my toes. I wiggle my ears and I wiggle my nose. Now there are no more wiggles in me. I can sit as quiet as can be by the Christmas tree. Today's story is called Norman, the slug who saved Christmas. You might recognize it because our author is Sue Hendra and Paul Linnett. Here is our book's spine and our back cover has the blurb. Let's see how the slug saved Christmas. Norman was very excited. It was Christmas Eve. His stocking was up and he'd even left a snack for Father Christmas's reindeer. Meanwhile, far above, Father Christmas sneezed. Ah, Joe! And without him knowing, a sack fell from his sleigh. Down on the ground, Norman snuggled in his bed. I hope I've been a good slug, he said to himself. I hope Father Christmas comes. Yes, I have been a good slug, thought Norman. And he was just closing his eyes when... Whack! Gosh, thought Norman. I didn't know I'd been that good. Thanks, Father Christmas. Norman dived straight in. There was wrapping paper everywhere. But then he spotted something. What's this label? said Norman. Billy. The scooter is for Jess, he read. The ukulele is for Billy. And the football is for Susie. Oh no, what have I done? None of these presents are for me. Billy, Jess and Susie will wake up tomorrow and think that Father Christmas has forgotten them. I'd better get these presents to Wiggleton as fast as I can. But Wiggleton looked a very long way away. How would Norman get all the presents there? And that's when he had an idea. Heave! He pushed over the side. Fantastic! That will do nicely, thought Norman. Then he set to work gathering all the other things he needed. He was very busy. Ta-da! Now it was time to rewrap the presents. But how? Norman didn't have any sticky tape. But luckily, if there's one thing slugs don't need, it's sticky tape. With a slither and a slobber, the presents were ready. Phew! Now it was time to put his plan into action. Hey, snails, he called. I need your help. We need to deliver the Shelby's family presents or their Christmas will be ruined. But Norman, said the puzzled snails, how will we do that? Like this, said Norman. Giddy up! Whee! Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Crash! Finally, they arrived at number 11, Slime Avenue. Uh, Norman, said a snail, how will you get to the chimney? I won't, replied Norman. I'm going to use the cat flap. He heaved and pushed until the last present was safely through. Quick, Norman, cried the snails. The children are coming. Norman needed to hide, but where? Ta-da! Norman loved being a bauble. And nobody would ever know that a slug had saved Christmas Day. 
What a clever little slug, Norman. We hope you have a lovely Christmas from the gnome and from Eddie. Thanks for listening. Merry Christmas. See you next time.